Alright, hello and welcome to a let's play of Hero Factory Evasion from Below. Uh, I'm Kahi. With me, as always, is uh, LJ. Hello, as always. Megatine. As always, man. This is like the first time I've joined you for, for some let's play. Well, as always means I always have some loser tagging along. So. <laughs> a loser. <laughs> Alright, let me. I'm up. Okay, so anyhow, this is the new Hero Factory game uh, for the year 2014. It was just released on uh, lego.com. You actually have to go to uh, the Great Britain site to get it right now, but don't worry, it's in the description. Uh, it should be up, by the time this video is up, it should be up in America. But if not, we'll, we'll decide something then. Uh, again, I'm Kahi, and that is LJ. Yep. And we're yeah. going to go through... Uh, the first, I guess, kind of the, the first couple levels. Now, I'm not sure, here's the deal. So, when you first get this game, you have to actually play a tutorial level. And you do the tutorial level, you play as Stormer, you build Stormer's machine, you get that done, and then you can get to the main menu. And the big deal with the main menu is that if you click this button over here, and I won't click it, but basically what happens is that you can actually watch this year's special on there. Ghost just finished a special, and it's up for viewing. Uh, on you know if you get to the main menu of the game, but you have to play through some levels to get there It's kind of weird like that, but you know. yeah now at the time of this recording I have seen the episode however Kahi has not yeah, I've seen it only halfway through so uh, But there are many clips scattered in throughout the game uh, if you're gonna play the game anyways You know you'll get a lot of clips from the actual special. I guess that's why I decided to include it uh, You know directly it, it's a little bit like Glatorian Arena 3 where after you beat all the other characters using a certain character, they'll show a clip from the movie that may be yeah. kind of sort of relevant. Exactly, but the difference is, of course, that this uh, this game actually focuses on uh, you know a lot of the you know, a lot of the characters and a lot more clips just about after every episode, every level episode. Anyhow. And this is exactly what we're talking about. Okay. All right. All right. So, oh man, it's okay. So it skipped the first couple levels that I've played. Right now we're starting off with Inferno. Uh, I played as Stormer, and then I played as Rock at the game, like you know, a good feel of the game before I did a Let's Play. It's I logged in, logged in with a different account, but apparently this is saved on your computer and not tied to any account. Keep that in mind. Uh, if you're playing this game, it's you know it's all tied to your computer. Yeah, your so, cookies. Yeah, your cookies. So if your sibling decides to play the game, he could use your uh, your Hero Factory points to do whatever he wants or she wants, you know, because they're siblings and they're rather annoying. Okay, so uh, arrow keys to move, space bar to shoot. It's very straightforward, honestly. A keyboard game. I'm not used to keyboard games normally. Uh, what? Oh wow. What was you that? Died. That was my bad. It was your bad. Yeah, okay. I'm not used to keyboard games. Animation, smooth, beautiful, something I'd expect from Ghost in advance. Alright, so who is who is that guy down below? Down below? Yeah. You mean the villain? The villain. That's Jaw Beast. And I think he comes out as a... No, no, I think... As a set, he comes out with Stormer, to my knowledge. He's Jaw Beast and Stormer. Okay, so the little gears give you health. Generally. You're gonna need that. You are going to need that. Uh, right now, you can upgrade how much health you get, but if you want to have a bit. You now, see those those little connector pieces? That's what, if, if you get all three of them, you actually get to turn into your. Oh, well, you see it in the level. Your your wow. hero. Also, I don't think that's the end of the level. I think this is... For some reason, they do this. They kind of split each level into okay, numerous different parts. This this part was pretty cool. How they had the, the building thing in the special. Mm-hmm. Okay, so uh, now you can use these two of uh, uh, the hero points up here to upgrade your hero. Besso said there's not actually any hero points in the canisters anymore. Is that true? That I don't know. No one here in the United States has them, but I'd assume so because they don't have any 
any button that you press to input any codes, yeah. so it's safe to assume they basically nixed all that. Alright, so I'm going to go, and I already have firepower up. What should I do? Maybe I should uh, upgrade jumping, and also upgrade fist power, because that's always important, right? Yeah, punching people. Okay. The heroes do look a little weird, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, also, fair warning, they have different voice actors now because a new studio is doing <laughs> the animation. Uh, Meso, uh, no, they don't like him. I, I think they're okay. Ah, well, uh, Bakahi, you, you need to go back and compare. Uh, I don't want to get into it right now, but you just need to go back and compare and listen and understand. Okay, I, I will go back and compare. So, I didn't play Rocka's level, but I played the first tutorial level with Stormer. It's pretty much exactly like this. Alright, so this is what happens whenever, if you jump into one of the pits. I wanted to show that for like a demonstration, because I did that with uh, Stormer beforehand. Anyhow, so you, you turn into, you know, your normal hero again, and you have to go and collect those same, the same pieces. To get your hero, you know, your... I guess, what do they call them? Battle machines back up? Basically, your mech. You gotta know. get your mech back up. Yeah, Lego's big on mechs recently, which is neat. Yeah, I, I do like the mechs. They, they had a bunch more mechs in Nexo Force. It was very impressive. Yeah. Are, now, you had Exo Force sets, right? Would you say that, uh, you know, you, I guess you, you haven't any actually buyed, buyed, you haven't bought any of the Hero Factory mechs for obvious reasons. But would you say that these mechs are, uh, mechs here are better hmm. than the ones before? Very oh. difficult to say, because I'll say this right now, I'm a huge fan of the Exoforce mechs. They were varied in design, but they were very straightforward in that they were mechs. They were very impressive. A lot of the builds were extraordinarily unique and sometimes pretty colorful, but they were all very solid builds. So it's a little bit difficult to say without having any of the Hero Factory mechs, but considering it's using the Hero Factory build system, I can safely say that they're probably quality mechs. I, it's difficult to compare them to Exoforce, because Exoforce used a more system-based build for their mechs, which made them even more impressive. And ever so often they'd use Bionicle pieces or... not just Bionicle pieces, Hero Factory wasn't even out then. So... It, it's just difficult to say. I, I can definitely say I like the look of no the Exo Force mechs more. The thing about this game is that there's not a lot of places to jump to, as you can see. The thing, like the the amount of control, isn't all too much. But it's also because you know, I'm also getting like a bunch of text messages on my phone from my boss. So I'm only half paying attention. Yay! Okay. Gosh, Kahi. I know. Don't you understand? Vision from below is easily more important than any real life work. Okay. Gosh. All right. Basically, I gotta find all these uh the the, the boxes as soon as possible. Get this whole mess thing I up and going. To play. Kahi was like, no, 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 no. I got this. I got this. Yeah, this yeah, my, I do have it. This is my, my stick. Thing. I offered to review yeah, sets, but like, no, well, no. Okay, Eldie's like, recap cool. reviews are my thing, so whatever. Oh, hey, yeah, you can I'm actually, you thing. can actually jump on like Mario style, squish those little. This is a discount Mario game. I'm done. Sorry if that has caused you any amount of trauma. deafness. No oh. trauma. Yeah. Deafness, yeah. Deafness. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Anime style. Woo! The battle mechs are. Oh. Whoa! Look at that. Wow. The other one uh, with. Uh, who did I play? I think I played as Raka. Basically, they had. They actually did have like a Donkey Kong style level where uh, Splitter Beast was throwing down. Uh, Splitter Beast was throwing down barrels. And you had to like jump over the barrels and stuff to get to them. It was really kind of weird. So. Let me get this straight. We have a game licensed by LEGO, designed by Nintendo, correlating with animation done by Ghost who had, and Advance, who had hand in Pacific Rim. And this is called Invasion from Below. 
Um, uh, I guess so. It's all come full circle. Of course, I know this was not made by Nintendo, but boy, come those similarities. On. Yeah, there we go. New badge, Prime, like Optimus. Nothing that flame can. I mean, did you see the size of those things? Those flame cannons should have like tore down the entire city. Tahu can do better. Ah, ah, ah. Oh, what? Oh, dude, I totally beat him. I don't know why the, the animation shows him like jumping on me.